Good morning everybody and it is the next day in our Minsk adventure and now we're actually gonna watch some historical places and have some historical fun anyways guys look at this view that looks like some sort of a stadium uh, very nice the whole crew is here look at Edward hello <laughs> I'm gonna go have some breakfast. Well, we're out of the hotel room. Time to warm up the beast. Go have some breakfast and explore. Hopefully it doesn't start raining because it will suck ass. Guys, check out this Dodge Ram on Moscow license plates. Holy mackerel. American cars everywhere. In Belarus, in Minsk, today they're having some sort of a bicycle marathon or something like that. Oh, well, I'm going the wrong way. Anyways, the roads are blocked off and I'm trying to flip and go and nobody is letting me. And the car just got pulled over because he doesn't have front license plates. That guy is gonna get bombed by the police. Very nice. <laughs> Guys, all the streets were blocked off and we found a shopping center where there is a cafe for a little breakfast. Oh, we finally made it. Oh my god. I'm literally, my head is swindling. What's going on here? Guys, I'm my car is too big for this. Guys, this parking is so small that I could literally touch the ceiling. I have no idea how we made it over here. Look at Edward. He can even touch the ceiling. Anyways, we're finally at a place where we could have breakfast. Because we're starving. Well, because all the streets were closed off, we found some sushi place where we're gonna have some food because everything else is closed off because there's bicyclist marathon. And the problem is, is that it's even raining and they don't care. They use their bicycles. So now we gotta figure out, do we need breakfast or do we need ramen? And is it gonna be good? Now what I've noticed in this restaurant is that one of the cooks was like on the phone while cooking which means the food is probably going to be crap but I'm too hungry to think about it so let's see if it's actually going to be crap or not So guys for some reason we cannot find a place to eat like we ordered a few drinks like tea and co coffee is good here but I don't know what's up Evelyn ordered this tea and it's like water with juice disgusting Seaweed salad. Very nice. This actually tastes good, so I'm happy. Very good. Well, guys, we have finally arrived over to the Stalin's line of defense from Second World War. And we're gonna take a tour and walk around the place and check everything out. So, like it says, start walking tour is here. So guys, you can see the Stalin line, 1929, 1939. And we are over at this line right here in Minsk. So you can see this is the defense line. Odessa, Rybinsk, all this part. Very nice. This is where we're gonna be walking around. Guys, so we're entering a shelling, bon shelling bunker number 134. Oh, this door is awesome. Oh, this is filters for air. 
This is really small. Guys, as you can see, the shelling bunkers. So there's a cannon, some soldiers that were shooting out of here. And this guy was looking at where they were shooting. Now there are generators right here. Look at this. Flipping heck. It actually looks like it still works. You have your gun racks here. Wow, you could see out of this. Look. Look at this, we're looking out of it. This is awesome. Oh guys, check this out. There's some flipping shells right there. And here's a flipping. Look at Edward. Look at Edward. Defending Belarus. You have all sorts of things. This is really cool. You could move it around. You could make it go up, but it's welded there. Big flipping cannon. So this is how it looks like on the other side. So they would be defending this road right here and you have the cannons that he was moving about. It's right there. And look at this one. You could also probably swivel this around the place to turn it a little bit. It's interesting. Look at the tank behind me. Right here you could read it says for Soviet Belarus. Oh, you know what? Funnily enough, I'm guessing this tank was here. It says that uh, war gaming. Let's put this up here, probably. Very cool. Tank from 1943 T34. So, guys, right now we're gonna check out the field emplacements, which was built by the Red Army in 1939, which is basically trenches. Guys, check this out. This is a Panzer Nest, German machine gun armored hood. It was situated on the outskirts of Borisov and Berezina River. Wow. This is how it looks like. Look, we found a German. Hand the hook. But you would have. Look how small this is. Look how tiny it is. You go in. And you would have your machine gun here and you'd be shooting out of here. So yeah, this is tiny, but imagine the sound, like the echo right now is already loud, but you'd be a German soldier going -ta 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 -ta, and the echo of the metal and the gunshots would definitely make you deaf. Anyways, let's go check out more cool things. I'm really enjoying this trip, guys, honestly. We also have a Polish uh, 1936 machine gunner type of thing like the German one. This is how it looks like. There's no way I'm gonna make that inside of there. But we can kind of see how it looks like. Maybe, I don't know. But this is tiny. Look at that. Now you might be wondering what this is. This is a German observation armored hood from the time of the First World War. How cool is that? Guys, check this anti-tank emplacement. Um, so basically you might be wondering how it is built. This is a T-62 turret right here. And this is how it would look inside. You have your soldiers, some of them chilling out, somebody calling someone, somebody giving up the shells, and somebody actually shooting out of a turret. So this is basically a tank turret on the ground. I'm looking at a stump right now. Look at this. This is a stump. But as a Soviet soldier, we got Edward hiding inside what? of the stump. And you can see his face right here. He would have his machine gun right here, and he would do some things. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. A Soviet soldier. Look at this. You wouldn't even know he's here. Oh my boy. <laughs> he's a tree now. Very good disguise skills considering it was on elevation with the trees. You would never know this. 
So right now we are gonna go on a 57 millimeter automatic anti-aircraft gun S60. How cool is that? You might be wondering how do I know this? I know this from here. Literally reading the specifications right here. Let's go on it and have a feel for it. Get on this. Very nice. So guys, I'm on the turret and I can spin it around. Oh my God, this is small. Look at this, spinning the whole flipping turret right here with one hand. And Evelina is using the aircraft to get an airplane. Look at Evelina. Very nice. Oh no, we have, we have the airplane flying, let's go. <laughs> I'm guessing you would shoot by pressing this. This would be the shooting gun. Very flippant. Let's flip and get them. Apuskai. <laughs> oh my god guys this is funny anyways let's let them have a go look at me spinning this thing now we're gonna show you how it looks like from the other side so guys right now my friends are with Evelina getting on the aircraft gone and it spins 360 really quickly with absolutely no effort that's really cool look at them look at them what i'm really amazed is how easy it is to spin it you can even do it with your one finger and considering this thing is quite heavy very interesting the way they made it. Oh my god, the bee is attacking me. Anyways, let's go check out. And oh my god, a bee is attacking me. I need to run away. Let's check out a machine gunner place. Let's check it out. Machine gun pillbox. So you would have the Germans coming from there and you would have machine gunners here. So let's go check it out. Interesting. Wow, it says the borders of USSR are holy and they cannot be touched. So you'd have some tools to dig, cut wood. You also have a seat here so you can as a soldier sit down here. Whoa! Look at these guys! This is cool, this is Maxim guns as well. Maxim gun, 7.62 caliber. And you would be like this as a soldier, shooting out there, going like doo -doo 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 -doo. And I'm pretty sure that the shooting button was this. So, how do you press it? But this is awesome, look at this. You would have your ammo here, being fed inside of here. And this would spin somehow like this so you would sit down on this i don't think this would hold me for some reason but you'd be like very cool and you have your second gunner right here as well you also have a seat here you got some radio communication here as you could see you could spin some stuff very interesting and the second maxim gun where you would be shooting. Very, very cool. Very cool. Guys, and considering that I'm not that tall, but look how the ceiling is. This is very interesting. And this is a 1944 Maxim gun. You could see it by the stamp right here. How cool is that? So you have a person sitting here. This is a very simple way to do it. 
You'll be shooting maximum guns. They're trying to pick him up with a cannon. Look at them. Evelyn, крути. Крути, Evelyn. Крути. Крути, Evelyn. Давай закрути его, чтобы он смог слезть. Тихо, тихо, падай. Не падай. Не падай. Сейчас мы тебя докрутим. So guys, the bunker that I was in a minute ago, this is how it looks like from the outside, so it'll be quite camouflaged and you wouldn't even see it. Check this out. Like you have this field right here and from far away it'd be very hard to see such a camouflaged bunker, right? And you have the Maxim guns inside and I'll show it to you right now. So guys, you could see the machine guns that I was spinning around right there. Flipping cool. Maxim guns shooting down that way. Guys, check this out. A village, you have a destroyed German vehicle right there. This is just interesting. There is also a destroyed little car there. Let's walk around and see what's going on here. So this is how they'd be cooking the food. This is a field cooker. You'd have the wood inside and up here you would have the stoves to cook stuff and this is the German light armored vehicle right here guys check this out there's a sign saying be careful tanks right there beside Evelina Давай, Саня, вылезай. Внутрь там. Опа! So right now we are gonna be doing a review of Edward's house. This is where he lives in. Edward! Edward, come here. We are doing a review of his house where he lives in. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yes, your house. No, what's your house? Look at his house. Very beautiful. Look at this. Wow, Edward. I really like your house. Looks very good. How, how did you get this house? Guys, he's a bit shy of his house. There's no problem, Edward. There's no problem. It's a good house. Look how happy he is that I showed you his house. Look at look at his smiling <laughs> face right here. Very good. So guys, I was wondering what this is and it's actually made for a show. So you would have visitors go there, sit down and they would have a reenactment of the Second World War. Oh my God, look at this, Edward. Edward, <laughs> look at this. This is Ural. Oh yes, you like your good old Ur Ural. Maybe take with Moscow. <laughs> with Free engine. Come on, Edward, let's go. You have all different bombs for airplanes and you got a fighter jet right here. Look at this. This is really, really cool. It's the Su-25. Wow. This is cool. You got your MiG right here. I wish you could get inside. That'd be awesome.
217M3. Very nice. It's actually so big. You know, usually I would have imagined that you know fighter jets are smaller, but they're actually huge. Like, look at this MiG-25. Absolutely humongous piece of machinery right there. Look at this airplane. They still fly them in Russia sometimes. I don't know what the model is. I'll tell you right now. It's a An-2. This was made in Poland in the USSR apparently. That's what the sign says anyways. Could you imagine? This airplane is still manufactured in China. They build them in China. What the heck? Why do the Chinese need those airplanes? I don't know. And you got your helicopters right here. Pretty sure they still use those ones. The Mi-8. Look at this chopper. I think this is the K-8. No, that's a Mi-24V. I thought this was K-A something. Look at this. It's a weird looking helicopter. It also has space inside for people. And this light chopper right here. Very small and very cool looking. Mi-2. Here we could actually see from this side. The interior. Kind of. Because the glass, it's not even glass. Check this out guys, entrance to the exhibition of armored train and hangars, fully operational World War II tanks. Fully operational World War II tanks, that's flipping awesome, let's go and check it out. This is the entrance to the hangar of armored vehicles of World War II, let's check it out. Guys, check this out. This is fully functional World War II tanks. You got the gearbox, you got the engine. Guys, this is interesting. You got German tanks as well here. Sturmgeschutz. I don't know how to pronounce it. You can see it right here. Wow. You got a Maybach engine in it, you know? You want a good engine in your car, you need a Maybach engine inside of it so that you'd be in full comfort. You got your Panzer replica right here. This is awesome. Look at Edward. Look how happy he is walking around here, looking at all those tanks. Nothing better than a bit of tanks. Those engines, imagine putting one of those engines in an Oka. This is a V12, 500 horsepower, 930 kilograms. This is a very heavy engine. Guys, check out this anti-aircraft tank right here. So you have a four machine guns right there. It would go up and try to take out airplanes. And it's a mobile airplane anti-aircraft gun. Huge. What's it called? Shuka. Shuka? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, guys, check this out. There's a bunch of gas vehicles right here. This is some cool truck. Gas 67, Gas AA, Ziz 5. With a turret. Very cool. Now, a car that I really, really always liked. I don't know why but it was a flipping BA-64. Look at this small little car. Oh, this is not a BA-64. What is this? This is a German. What is this? It's a Volkswagen. Volkswagen, a German Volkswagen. This actually looks really cool. I would love to have one of them and go in the forest. Imagine. 
This is perfect for a bit of forestry. And you got yourself a Moskvich. Very nice. Edward really likes this Moskvich. No, it's not Moskvich. It, uh, this is Opel. Opel? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is Opel. Sure. It's a replica. It's a replica. I think it's ah. Moskvich made to look like Opel. Because if you did not know, Moskvich copied the Opel design or I think they used their factory and made it. Anyways, we're looking over at a armored train right now. Check this out. Stalin's armored train. And here we see a Soviet flipping train station where you could see the actual armored train with turrets and stuff like that to defend it. You got a big turret there, you see, you see here for Stalin. We also have Maxim machine guns here. The flipping B attacking me. But anyways, look. It's a little Maxim gun right there, machine gun. We also have a probably an anti-aircraft turret right there. So it was well equipped to withstand a lot of things. <laughs> Me and Evelina are not gonna miss out on an opportunity to shoot out a tank right now. Out of a tank. How cool is that? And we got two shots, bought two shots because it's one of a kind of experience. So we're gonna be shooting out of a flipping tank. She's gonna shoot once and I'm gonna shoot once. Should be flipping awesome. And we are gonna be shooting out of this tank right here. Look at it. Flipping tank. This is what we're gonna be shooting. Right here. Guys, we're fully equipped. Look at Evelina getting in her tank. <laughs> oh, that was flipping awesome. Отлично, право башня. Лево. Пушка. Танк. Class, да? <laughs> Guys, this was flipping awesome. Oh my god. You know what? It was a blank, but it was definitely great fun. You know what guys, that was flipping an awesome experience. Anyways, this is an awesome trip to Belarus. Very truly enjoyable. Guys, we're already leaving the Minsk Stalin's line of defense from the Second World War and if anybody of you ever comes over to Minsk, Belarus I highly recommend you guys to come over here because you really get to feel how the Second World War felt you know it's really truly interesting and fascinating and very cool historical well we are back at this shopping mall once again because Evelina yesterday said that the clothes is very 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 cheap in here and that is exactly why we came here because I don't have that many clothes so I'm gonna buy some shorts maybe pants and a few t-shirts because I need some I literally have like five t-shirts you could see from the videos anyways let's go in well we are back at the shopping mall and now I'm gonna get myself a bit of clothes very nice you know what guys I'll tell you one thing I hate shopping for myself as well in any shops but Evelina is making me go there because she wants me to look nice also she said find a barber in Belarus but we don't have that much time in Belarus so 
gonna get a chop in rush unfortunately my barber she got pregnant so now for three years she's not gonna be working that's what she told me so i guess i'll have to find another one but the ones i got my bad haircuts were from are the ones that i don't want any more haircuts because they were bad so it's quite hard to find somebody who would actually do a good haircut for me found some pants oh nearly dropped the pants Nina's looking choosing the jeans for me well time to try out all of this look at this two-pack t-shirt flipping that guys evelina made me get a bunch of clothes I'm gonna be a stylish man now and a broke stylish man oh uh, well at least i'm gonna be a stylish man who cares about being broke you're stylish you're stylish so guys evelina got me dressed we're in the hotel right now look look stylish she even made me get one of those i'm a i'm a stylish guy now flipping jordans am i american now i don't know but guys finally i have some change of clothes very nice thank you very much belarus for very 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 cheap clothing you would not be able to buy clothes like that anywhere in russia flipping awesome now after all of this we're gonna go over have some food and enjoy the evening and tomorrow is our last day we're getting out of the hotel at 12 doing a few things getting in the car and driving back to moscow so that is basically our plan of action well we're in the evening of minsk about to go to some cool place which is apparently really popular with belarusian people to get some dinner into us this is definitely quite an adventurous day if you ask me and by the way guys tell me what video footage do you prefer do you prefer video footage from this gopro or the video footage before on the big camera tell me do you like this sort of a wide angle or what do you like tell me what do you like tell me right now if you don't tell me in the comment section below what you like edward is going to come over to your house and what? ask you a few questions yes you are edward yes oh. you are oh, yes no. he will he will guys this street looks awesome check this out look how good evelina looks today damn anyways we're going to this fancy looking place very nice look at this fancy looking place in belarus check it out there's some male pictures of them quite naked just touching themselves and or the list looks nice look at edward looking at the menu thinking of what he's gonna eat today has no idea i have no idea either evelina is doing a review on this restaurant on her instagram there might be even some live music here who knows i don't know you tell me anyways let's check out the menu i'm asking if the chilies are spicy in this place because in belarus they don't want to make anything spicy they're like we could bring you out a chili and you can try it out so if the chili is spicy i'm gonna order a ramen so let's see if it's spicy or not no, da, it's not spicy. No, not like Bulgarian. Check out my burger. Why couldn't they put some fries here? What is this? What is this? Why couldn't they put a few fries on here? Just a burger. I don't understand this. Guys, I'm becoming some sort of a restaurant critic. I don't understand why such a nice looking place still has... I don't know, maybe I watch too much Gordon Ramsay or something like that, but... I just don't understand this is the capital it should have like really good stuff happening here you know in the cafes and restaurants but it's really hard to find anything tasty and good you know value to the actual quality of food really lacks in minsk that's my opinion probably if somebody is watching from belarus could say i went to the wrong places probably did but uh yeah i mean very very hard to find something good to eat here guys check this out there's a hair inside of there i don't know if you can see that's nasty it's because they all have like hair dangling around the kitchen no idea what's going on and that's edward's dessert as well with a bit of hair very nice look at him look at his happy face enjoy a bit of hairy that was from somebody's ball sack very nice 
a bit of pubic hair in the chocolate fondant. So the cool thing about Belarusian gas stations is that they sell alcohol. My friends want some alcohol, so let's go inside and see what it is. <laughs> you could buy any alcohol you want. Check this out. Anything. Oh my god. Bulbash. This is a famous flipping vodka. And a bunch of beers and wines and whatever you need. Guys, the time has come because we are still starving because the restaurants are crap. We're going to a Belarusian McDonald's called Magbai and we're gonna try it out. Look, it says Magbai. Hold on, Magbai, very nice. Let's see if it's any good. Is it better than Fkusne Tochka or not? So we're coming back to the hotel room. We got the packages from the Belarusian McDonald's and we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see if it's any good or not. Guys, we got the Belarusian McDonald's copy. I got a triple cheeseburger, some potatoes, which I already tried. They're flipping good. What the heck is a triple cheeseburger? What is this? It looks nasty. Oh my god, that looks horrible. Anyways, let's try it out. It's like a double cheeseburger, but a triple cheeseburger. Tastes pretty much the same. I actually like it. Pretty good. Pretty flippin' good. What the heck is happening? <laughs> He's stealing a flippin' thing. Guys, I'm finally happy that I'm actually having some food, which actually tastes good, because for the past two days we've been in Belarus, the food was so-so. Now, this stuff is good. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. Tomorrow we have a long day and night, so stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, check out my Boosty, and comment something. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, leave a flipping comment. If you did not, leave a comment as well. Why not? See you later, guys.